So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a rose chart and we are going to create that chart to recreate the visualization that I saw on Twitter on the Amazon fires that I thought it was quite neat and take advantage of one of the neat things about the rose chart which is it visualizes trend in a fashionable way without taking too much real estate on your canvas, okay? so. I've shown you on my main channel how to get the data for the Amazon Fires on Power BI, but you can grab the same data source and put it anywhere else, the blog, click, Excel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you create the rose chart and then you can import elsewhere, okay? So let's get started. Um, by the way, you're going to get um, the chart, the data, sample data, and everything that you need on the Curva Download Center, as always, so just so you know. So let's get started. Okay, so you go to charticulator.com, you click on launch, and then we're going to get data. Here's the thing, on Charticulator, you don't need to import all data. You just need to have sample data to create the shape of the chart. Then you can plug in any data you want, okay? So I just have the data for the Amazons on all years. Amazon as uh, just for a region of the Amazon, not the entire thing, because you don't need to have everything. There is a column with fire count, the number of fires by, in this case, just one region, and then from 2013 to 2019. And then I have a column that tags where the max value is. And we need this because we need to understand we, I want to conditional format the year that had the highest number of fires, okay? So, with that said, let's get creative. So the first thing, I don't want to have a title. I'm going to actually have the title in Power BI, so I don't want it in Charticulator. Okay, so working with Charticulator, the first thing that you need to think about is how do you want to represent your data and you can do it with rectangulars with lines with circles you know there's like a, a thousand ways to visualize things a rose chart is basically a bar chart that has a radial axis so our representation type or what it, in chart clearly they call it a mark is going to be a rectangle and for the rectangular you can this is the height the height is going to be the number of fires so you can see here number of fires and then we want to have it per year but we want to have it again as a radial chart so we're going to radial axis so we're going to drop the radial axis in there and the characteristic of the rows is that the actual axis is very very small so you get like a pill like that okay quite nice now for the axis we want to have years so you can just drop it in there and then it will get you the legend on the outside of the chart. I don't particularly like this with this type of charts because the distance from the actual legend to the, the shape is too long. And when you start to making this smaller to fit it on a chart, it will get even smaller. So I prefer to have it close to the shape. So what we're going to do is we do want to have as the axis the year, but we don't want to see it. If you go here to the axis, we're going to rename this because we're going to export this then into Power BI and then I want to have correct names otherwise it's going to be a mess. So on the axis we don't want to have the axis legend visible because we're going to do it in another way. So you just untick this and as you can see here when I click here it highlights the mark. This is our rectangulars that now have a radial axis. So just pick anyone, it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is to put on the inside a legend, a data legend that is the number of fires and then on the outside we're going to put the actual axis legend. So it is, gets close to the shape and it's easier to see. So to do that we're going to put text and then we're going to move it up. And this one is going to be on the inside the number of fires. So just go to fire and drop it in there. Number of fires and there you have it. Now. These are a lot of numbers, not easy to see. So what I want to have it is to have it in a thousand format. And to do that, you go in here, file count, and we're going to divide this by a thousand. We want to have one decimal, otherwise you would change it here. If you want to have two, for example, you see it changes to two. But we just want to have one. 
put in there and then we want to have the thousand denominator because this is 13,000 so if it's 12,000 fires 13,000 fires I want to have this white it will have a nice contract later maybe we'll, we'll see <laughs> so white now I want to have again the axis axis legend on the outside there so you just drop a text mark hook it to the end of the shape put it up and then you just drop it here into text and then there you have it quite nice right it's very very easy and i will stick to the actual outside of the shape very very cool now here is for the max i want to have the max the, the year would have had the maximum number of fires highlighted okay so um, that will for us easily when you're looking at the visualization itself if you remember you will see are the number of fires in the amazon increasing and it's you know you don't want to go to each of these points and look you just want to see it so we're going to highlight it conditional formatting in Charticulator does not exist but you can tag things and color them so what we have here i have a tag on the year that had the maximum number of fires which in this case is as you can see 2015 has a tag that called max so if we go to uh, the shape and we're going to color the shape uh, there you have it in there so we're going to color by max and as you can see all of them get the max um, the shape that had the max tag gets one color the other one gets the other color you can format the color oh sorry let's put it again you can format the colors in there so i want to have orange for the year that had the maximum number of fires and i want to have grayish for the ones that did not maybe a little dark like that okay so now it's starting to look nice. I wouldn't have the years at the same color as this orange. Just, just so you can see it a little bit better. So we're going to put here color orange. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now let's let's give proper names. This is shape, and shape is going to be shape. Is you know the the bard, or maybe we we're gonna call it bar. I don't know if bar is a good thing text this is the bard legend bard legend probably there are better names apologize for that and this is the axis legend axis legend you will need this and the tool that you are importing to know where to put what basically so now we have tagged everything correctly we have our chart looking good it is taking too much space i want to make it a little bit smaller it shouldn't take that long that much space this should be like a rectangular basically put this a little bit bigger a little bit bigger would be nice if they had like you know square shape rectangular shape something like that or it would just snug fit but anyhow we have our beautiful chart now it's time to export it so we can use it to represent data this is what we're going to do you can save it to my charts. Can be quite nice if you want to reuse it, but to export, you click on that button. And now the first thing we're going to do is export it as an image because when you import it into your tool of choice, in this case for me, it's going to be Power BI, you have the possibility to change the icon of the shape and I want to have the icon of the shape as this. So the dimensions took me a lot of Googling to do it, but it's 20 by 20. So if you put 20 here, png you now have an icon for your chart without doing a lot of stuff and then you go to power bi custom visual otherwise you can export it at html or chart color template and now you have to change the data mapping so it just makes sense so fire count is going to be bar height the year is our angular axis and the max is the max value tag so this you will see in Power BI also, so you know where to put what. This is correct. The name of your visual is a rose chart. 
and then here you see the image this is where you will import the image that you just downloaded easy and then you get it there and uh, you can put your name your, ad your email address blah 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 and then you export to power bi so it's as easy as that otherwise you can export it as html and then you can see it as html if you would like to do that if you want to put it in your website for example so it's quite a neat way the thing that if you put it in your website the data that you put in there is the data that you have so you won't be able to change it you need to have it into a proper bi tool to be able to feed it with data but still useful so tomorrow on my main channel i'm going to get this visual put it into power bi and we're going to visualize the amazon fire it's in a similar way that he did where there are some differences and we're going to discuss also that visualization what it actually means and if the title and the image really match each other we'll do that tomorrow so i hope you enjoyed this short clear file you have everything on the Kerbal download center so just go and grab it in case you don't want to create it yourself but give it a go it's actually a lot of fun so i will see you tomorrow again or otherwise i will see you next week if you want to watch Kerbal Labs videos so until then take care bye bye